Oh, what's up, y'all? Super busy today, man. So I'm fit to record this in the car on the way to the tattoo shop. But uh, I read Drip Drip. Um, stay tuned. These action figures on my shelf, man, they drive the ladies crazy. Look, oh, I'm watching comic book movies so they wanna have my baby. to get it a different angle bro so i can properly drive uh drip drip man I, I didn't know anything about this uh mangaka and uh i know she had a book called b stars which i haven't read because it looks kind of corny to me but after reading this maybe it's not corny i don't know um and i know she used to wear a chicken head in public all the time so that's pretty cool but drip drip man was kind of sad and but kind of happy uh what i mean by that is wait first of all let me say i really love the art in this i don't think it's like any other manga art that i've seen in a while maybe that's just in my head man but i really liked it a lot and i liked how she drew the main character like she just looks so like happy and hopeful even though it's a pretty sad ass story so this girl her mom put a fear of uh, germs in her that was so bad that every time she felt like shit was dirty or people were dirty or things were dirty, her nose would start bleeding and like bleeding out like fucking everywhere. And she like tried to cure it by sticking her head in a trash can, bathing in toilet water, shit like that. But it just never really worked. And she has a... Uh, reputation as like a whore at her job and everywhere else because she always takes these dudes home and tries to fuck but that's because uh, she wants to feel human connection and love and she's never got to have sex with anybody because her damn fear of germs that her mom put in there in her made it where every time she has tries to go have sex with a dude her nose starts bleeding everywhere the dudes get freaked out they can't get it up and then they run off and of course they don't tell anybody because they don't want to be embarrassed and uh so everybody thinks she's just a hoe but she's not and it's really sad because she's like getting people thinking of her as like a, a a whore but she's really not man and she just wants human love and connection so that part of it's very sad there's a bunch of different cases of this shit happening if you read the manga you will see but there was this one where she like takes this dude back to this hotel she makes him take a shower then she takes a shower she polishes her shoes she cleans everything up and then uh she starts boiling some water because she wants this dude to clean his dick with boiling water which is kind of crazy but it's like really bad this like fucking mental thing she has and uh so she starts like getting ready to bang that dude and she's like tell me how you washed yourself all this and he's like what and then she starts bleeding everywhere he gets scared he runs away she has a few more attempts to have sex with people same shit happens she fails so she finally meets this one guy that's not scared of her blood because he's like a guy that takes blood at the hospital and so he goes and the blood doesn't bother him and he has sex with her and she's like i think i'm falling in love and he's like nah i'm capable of love so then she gets even more he says i'm not capable of love so then she gets even more sad she's like fuck this don't feel right and uh she pretty much gives up and she goes to this place where she like eats sushi or something all the time and like uses it to like replenish her iron or her blood levels or whatever because you know if you're bleeding so damn much it's gonna be rough on you and the guy that runs the place notices she's sad sorry about the shaky camera so he like comps some of her food and then they start talking and he's like, nah, your blood don't bother me at all. I've been in love with you since we were in school, yada, yada. She gets really romantic. She thinks, damn, this is a real dude. They have sex. She thinks she's in love and he's really good at convincing her that they are in love. But for some reason, a little while into the relationship, her nose starts bleeding and she doesn't know why because she doesn't think this guy's dirty. She thinks he's clean because she's in love and he's a good guy. Well, we find out when he's walking that this dude's like a straight player. He's playing all these girls. He's banging some chicks. He's fucking banging one chick for money, all this other shit. 
So the whole time her nose wasn't lying. It wasn't just in her head. Her nose knows when a fool's dirty on the inside. But he's like, well, I'm going to keep playing her. I'm going to marry her. Then she'll be stuck with me. They're at the altar, right? And her nose starts bleeding again. It won't quit bleeding. It's dripping like all over her shirt or all over her dress. It's like a huge pile of blood. It's like some Bloody Mary shit. Sorry about the camera again. And then uh, dude can't take it anymore because he feels so guilty. So he fucking admits the truth to her, tells her the truth. And he's like, I'm a piece of shit, whatever. Will you still love me? And she's like, nah, bruh. And I can't even judge you or blame you because I messed with your punk ass. But, and you think it's going to end very sad after you thought it was going to end very happy. But it actually does end happy because she realizes that her fucking nose doesn't lie. And if she keeps going and she keeps pushing and trusts her nose, she will find true love. Her nose won't bleed anymore and then she'll be happy. So Drip Drip was surprising, man. And uh, I really liked it a lot. Y'all check it out, man. If you've read it, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Much love and respect. Peace.